YouTube back again. Uh, we got some new cells that we'll be trying out. Uh, these are our old cells right here. It's the old size we're using. Uh, I'm still doing these cells uh, and putting them in series. And they're working great uh, in my expedition right now. I stepped up to another size. I tried some with some plates. If you look at here, uh, I got stainless steel plates cut and mesh uh, stainless steel wool in between uh, the plates. And uh, as you can see, the production isn't really all that great. Uh, the heat is is none, basically. There's no heat to it. It, it stays pretty cool. However, you know, we're not producing a, a whole lot. Um, so for you guys that have been asking about the plates with the wool, I don't really find it to be working that much better. I, I, right now, I've used another setup. I have uh, stainless steel socks. Uh, stuffed with stainless steel wool and I'm using uh, just regular stainless steel hardware uh, to hold them together. Uh, same configuration as the other one if you look. Boom, as soon as I turn it on you can see that production just take off flying. Um, and the heat is uh, relatively minimal. Uh, I basically find that I, I can reduce the heat by using uh, Use a fiberglass uh, mesh screen and wrap the, the socks in that to keep them from touching. And uh, as you can see, the output from one to the other is, I got this uh, all the way down in the bottom of this bucket, so it's about uh, 10, 12 inches of water. Uh, and our production is doing pretty good as, as compared to with the plates. Strong uh, too. Very strong. It's it's pushing very hard. So uh, we get a lot of uh, force behind it as compared to these. You, know, you hear the difference right there. As you can see, if you look at the device, so you just turn it off. So that's it, okay? Be back later, YouTube.